guys and welcome to another Blu-ray update. The first movie is Oblivion with Tom Cruise. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a technician who has fixed things on Earth, but the Earth is, whole, is totally destroyed. And things, yeah, this is, he's on his usual daily basis working on Earth, fixing things, uh, scanner, robot thingies uh, he has to fix. And uh, at one point uh, a spa he finds a I think a spaceship where uh, a woman, a beautiful woman, is uh, um, in, and he saves her. And something uh, from that point on, he gets flashbacks and he, he questions things, how certain things are uh, happening. Uh, and it was released. Uh, I seen it, seen it a while ago, but I know it was, it was great. It's from the same director as uh, Tron Legacy and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Looking forward to the sequel. I don't know who. Is this from the same director or from a different director? I don't know. But uh, uh, it, it's, a, it's a very, if you like sci fi films, you like this one. It's, uh, it's not, not very fa fast paced uh, uh, film, but uh, I thought it was a great, a great, uh, great film. Next one, one is a horror film, and I give you a hint. Yeah, you're right. It's a conjuring. People move into the new home, and there are dark forces, and uh, it's a really scary film, but the, the, I really enjoyed the photos of scary moments until some part and it gets less scary. Well, the, you see, you quite see a pattern in the, those James James Wan horror movies is that there is a lot of scary moments, and through I think about 40 minutes in the movie they bring in some comic kind of relief to give uh, some people some breathing room, like uh, in the series where were those. Uh, where there's two, two guys, two ghost hunters, and they bring a comic relief to give you a bit of breathing room between the scary moments. And this, uh, in this section, they also have to uh, did that. But I, I thought it was a great horror film, and uh, they're now making a film based on that uh, scary doll who's in this movie. So uh, uh, scary as, uh, as hell. So I really, I really like this, uh, this films, and yeah, you really have, like, it's like horror if you enjoy these kind of films. Uh, otherwise, yeah. Skip it. Dutch movie. Um, a movie. Uh, yeah, I must say is uh, for a long time I never. Yeah, I didn't watch many Dutch uh, movies, but I, I, since the last uh, couple of years I started, you know, started watching um, more Dutch uh, movies, and this is uh, the Marathon. This movie goes about about four, about four or five guys uh, who uh, work in the garage and. Uh, the business is very go is is going bad, and they have to try to yeah, ma make a um, yeah make enough money, otherwise they lose their business. And make a, they make a deal with uh, I'm quite sure who is that if a, a dealer if, uh, from someone uh, he he would give uh, if they walk uh, the the marathon and they finish it all they they get the money in order to to yeah, to get out of trouble with their. Uh, with the business, and otherwise they they lose the business to uh, to the guy who made who they made the deal with. Uh, and, it's, uh, and this guy here, who is a uh, Yusuf, uh, he's a he's a young guy, a sportive guy too. He's going to train them to to uh, do the marathon because they're all out of out of shape. And it it's it's a, the, the the concept is it's very well known, like uh, the the. the not the last, but the before the before that the second last uh, Muppet film, they get into trouble, financial trouble, and they have to do something to earn the money to to save their company or or building or that, that concept is very well known, but uh, it is a very very funny, also good good uh, bit, good bit of drama in it. Uh, it it's a very inter entertaining Dutch uh, comedy and a very certain. If I uh, would recommend uh, recommend you a Dutch movie, uh, I would say uh, check this one out if you can get it. I'm not quite sure uh, what releases are in, in other countries, but uh, yeah, a great, a great fun, uh, fun movie. All is family of all is family. Uh, it's a, they say they talk about it. This is a sequel to the to the one from a couple of years back uh, called All is uh, All is Love. If that's also they translate also if it's the correct translation. Uh, I don't know if they. Title, English title, so. But uh, I never, I missed it in cinema. It stars uh, Carissa Houghton, who you, yeah, must know from uh, Game of Thrones if you watch that. I still need to see that series. But 
uh, yeah, it looks like a fun, entertaining film. Uh, I can't say much about it, I still have to see it, uh, but I uh, got it for 5 euros, so it's a pretty good deal. Next movie is a movie, a, a 90s classic, uh, with Nicolas Cage, uh, Sean Connery and Ed Harris. It's The Rock, uh, about a, guy, a bunch of uh, mid, bad, bad guys uh, taking over Alcatraz, setting up rockets, um, aimed at on San Francisco, and and yeah, that need to be fixed. So it's, it's an uh, action-packed film. Uh, you probably uh, know this film because it's already old, so, kind of, so I won't tell much more about it. But it, it's, it's a lot of uh, fun, fun action flick. And then the last one is a movie I bought from a <laughs> bought from someone, and yeah, it's kind of a shame to show it. <clears throat> it's Rachel McAdams and Channing Tatum in The Vow. Yes, a chick flick. What can I tell? I, I like those kind of movies. You probably too. You 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 won't say it, but you do. I see it. I see it there. Yeah, I see you. But okay, can I stress it? Also, kind of a blind buy, but uh, it looks like a a fun, hard heartwarming film. Yeah. So those were my last blurry for this update. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. This was long, and out.